In the lobby of Wiesbaden Middle School, class is in session. Hello. Hi. The instructor, like today's lesson, is unique. My name is Lawrence Carvajal, and I'm a structural engineer with the Corps of Engineers here in Wiesbaden. Lawrence specializes in bridges, but decided to step a little out of his comfort zone to teach Bridge Making 101. This is the, the first time. Using a centuries-old design, he's showing students how to make a self-supporting bridge as part of a series of classes during Engineering Week. This bridge is not for skateboarding. But there's something else happening here. He's also trying to span what he says is an ever-widening gap between U.S. students and the engineering field by using the science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM, approach. The president has this policy, this STEM initiative that he's supporting, and that's based on the simple fact that we don't have enough engineers and scientists right now. He's using the hands-on approach to do it. I thought, let's build a bridge and let's have people and actually get piece. involved in this bridge. Touch it, feel it, break it. Oh. Oh. Our bridge has reached its ultimate. Like building a bridge, he has two different sides to deal with. Students who enjoy STEM-related tasks and those who are a little hands-off. Two of his volunteers fit the bill perfectly. There's book stacker and math lover David. At first it was a big jigsaw puzzle, like when I saw it on the screen up there. So I was like, wow. How do you make it to stand? And then as he started to go along, it all made sense. And bridge height checker Micah, who's not sure what she's right. gotten into. Done. I'm not really good at science or math, so I was sort of nervous, you know, especially when he told me to build a bridge. I'm like, no. Following their teacher's instructions, they test the bridge's strength to see if their creation can hold its own. Load the bridge. Boo. Check our clear height. 12 inches. Yeah, 12 inches. All right. They also learned why height matters. There went the air conditioner. For the kids, this experience is a chance to see what engineering is all about. For Lawrence, he hoped to make a bridge of a different kind. If there's just one person who was thinking about engineering, who has seen this presentation and says, you know what, I want to pursue that, that career. Coming here, spending a day has, has been an absolute success. So, did it work? Last year, I sort of thought about being an engineer, and now that I had this experience, I kind of want to become an engineer. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not really interested in it, really. No offense to bridge makers or anything, I guess it's just not my interest. Typically, low percentages don't work well in bridge building, but for this exercise... Barely moving. One out of 25 works. Absolutely. Oh, there it goes. Okay, okay. Regardless of possible outcomes. It's going down. There it went. In Wiesbaden, I'm Chris Noblock. Okay.